Tom Nappy here with Mina Barath. Mina, you were recently at the State House and you got appointed to the Asian American Commission. Uh, can you talk about what the Asian American Commission is all about? Sure. Thank you for having me, Tom. Um, this is a pleasure always to be with HCAM. Uh, the Asian American Commission has been in place for about 12 years and uh, the work of the Commission is to advocate for Asian Americans in the Commonwealth. Um, Asian Americans are the fastest growing minority uh, in the Commonwealth as well as the nation overall. So it's about understanding some of the issues that they have also their contributions to the community. Um, so that's the primary work of the commission. And I understand you got appointed as the commissioner of the commission. So could you talk about what some of your responsibilities will be? Um, I guess it's a 15 to 20 member board. And uh, you know there are five appointing authorities. I was appointed by Senate President Karen Spelka. And uh, I'm one of the commissioners. We have a chair, Mr. Pralad, and uh, we have a vice chair, Kim Chong. And uh, I will be working as part of the overall commission. And each one of us can choose to work on some of the subcommittees. And uh, you know, I've just started. I have volunteered to help with the unity dinner that the Asian Com American Commission holds every year. It's in May, and you're invited. Uh, oh, yeah. And um, it's uh, one of the biggest fundraisers that the commission does. But also, it's about advocacy. We get key speakers and we give awards. So I'm helping out with that a little bit. I have also volunteered to help with the finance uh, and administration committee. Um, as it happens with most volunteer roles, it's what you want to make out of that role. Um, uh, the members that I have met so far, they've been wonderful, very welcoming. Um, the chair and vice chair went out of their way to spend time with me, helping me understand. We also have an um, executive director of the commission, uh, which is a paid position, and her name is Jenny Chang. She has also been extremely helpful. So I am learning along the way and helping out in ways that I, I can. Uh, we get opportunities uh, where we get invited to different forums uh, or to speak for some of the issues. So based on needs, um, I will step up and help out. Can you uh, talk about the process of uh, getting invited or getting appointed to the commission and um, pretty much just walk us through how this came to be? How did you end up getting appointed to the commission? Um, to be honest, it's a bit of a mystery to me, um, but there are portions of it which I'm aware of. Um, so it looks like the Asian American Commission had some vacancy and uh, the appointing authority, as I mentioned, one of the appointing authorities is the state uh, Senate president. And her office reached out to me asking for my bio, and which I shared gladly. And uh, I think they must be looking around to see um, who are some of the potential candidates. Um, and I feel very honored that I got chosen and I got picked to serve in this role. And uh, Senator Swelka picked up the phone and asked me uh, to serve. I was uh, very surprised when she called me. And you know, if she asks you to serve, you serve. Um, and like I said, there are many, many deserving folks in the community that I know of this honor. Uh, I'm just glad that I got chosen this time. And I understand there were three people that were reappointed to the committee, and you were one of the three that were newly appointed. Right. Uh, how long will you uh, be on the uh, commission for? It's a three-year term. Three-year term. That's right. Well, that's terrific. Um, talk about uh, what your experience was like at the State House, and I understand there was a ceremony. Yes. Uh, it was, a, it was very exciting for me. First of all, I didn't expect it to be as uh, amazing as it turned out to be. I've been there with my husband and my nine-year-old son and um, a couple of our community members. Uh, Charu Smita Ram, she does a lot of work in the community. She had come all the way from Lowell and uh, Ravi Dasari and he got uh, Jignesh. Uh, so there was a little bit of a representation from the community that we went there. And I was sworn in uh, by State Treasurer Deborah Goldberg. 
along with all the other commissioners, there was quite the, uh, you know, it was quite a ceremony and it was very emotional for me. I, I am emotional by nature. And, uh, you know, for me, where I come from, you know, I grew up in India and uh, I've been here in the States for 16 years. This is quite a journey. I never expected such a day in my life. And um, so it was, it, was, it was quite something. And uh, Senate President Spelka made the time to join um, her regional director, Pooja Mehta. She made the time, and they were all there. And uh, it was extremely meaningful to me. And to be taking oath, uh, it meant a lot to me. Now, when you got the phone call asking if uh, you would like to be on this commission, I mean, what was your reaction? Uh, like I was mentioning earlier, I, it was so out of the blue. I was so not expecting it to happen. And to get a call from someone like uh, uh, you know, the Senate president, um, it's, you know, you're caught off guard a little bit. And at the same time, you want to understand what the responsibilities are before you uh, sign up. Like, are you ready? Uh, what's your uh, situation at home? Will your family support it? Can you do justice to the role that you're signing up to? Um, so all these thoughts were at my mind. Uh, I was actually at the MFA that day, and it was pretty noisy all around me. Mm. Uh, but, uh, but like I said, it's such a great honor. Uh, I never expected to see such a day in my life. Well, I know you certainly do a lot for the community, and I'm sure you're going to serve this uh, commission well. Uh, I understand you also got a tour of the State House. Uh, what was that like? Was there anything that you saw that was that just uh, blew you away in the State House? Um, actually, there were many, many things. I've been to the State House once before, uh, but this was a personal tour by the Senate President, and uh, I was very excited for my son too, who's nine years old. Uh, you know, he has many interests. Uh, but this was me having that tour along with my family and seeing my son also getting that exposure. That was quite amazing. And um, just every step of the way, there is so much history in that building. And to be able to experience that, um, that was quite something. Something that struck out for me, I mean, of course, all the railings, all the artwork, and the new um, uh, Senate. Um, it was outstanding. But the one that struck out to me was uh, a table that was made by Paul Revere. Wow. Uh, that uh, was quite amazing to be able to see that. That's cool stuff. Uh, well, Mina, I know you serve the Hopkinton community well, and I know you'll serve the uh, Asian American Commission well. Uh, congratulations, and thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Tom. Thank you for having me.